sa inyo mga kabuting ting. Welcome back to your Kuya Real TV. If you are new here in YouTube channel, kindly subscribe and hit that uh, notification bell so that you always update in my latest video. I try to talk in English so that uh, some cases our uh, audience is uh, English speaking. You don't need to put subtitle here. It's very hard to edit with subtitle, no? So I will try my best to uh, explain it to you, this, uh, our topic in this video. No? Our topic is about uh, ESR meter, especially this one is analog. Do we really need an uh, ESR meter? Actually, I have two answers on that. Yes or no. So, we're talking about why we don't need this ESR meter. Or the answer of no, why, why I don't need this ESR meter. For example, you are in the workplace, no? in the industry. Uh, in the service center, for example, you are a repair technician. Uh, Sony, Sharp, uh, TV. Repair TV, right? Uh, you are in the service center or manufacturing so most of the time in manufacturing is uh, how I can say that one uh, guidelines uh, we have guidelines uh, to need to follow for example uh, when I work in the service center uh, Panasonic uh, Sharp uh, there actually we have ESR meter but because we have an SOP for example uh, the, the parts uh, for example, the transistor is uh, shorted, spoiled, some parts, some components, for example, the vertical IC, the sound, like this. We have SOP that uh, along that IC, uh, most of the time capacitor, resistor. In the service center, we need to change that one even though it is not uh, spoiled or broken or shorted, open. Uh, we need to change that, that one. Because in a, this is a, because this is an SOP that they provide, so that the warranty or the lifespan of the service that you gave to the customer is a satisfac, have satisfaction, no? right? So even though not yet, uh, uh, not yet, how can I say that one? Not yet spoil that the parts, that certain component. We need to, ch we need to change that one. So that the lifespan of that uh, particular circuit, it's become uh, good, 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 something like that. So that's why I can answer that one. I don't need that one because when you say that one is, this uh, area is uh, have problem. SOP we need to change that one. Uh, beside of the broken parts or component. Meanwhile, the second answer is yes. Because, for example, I'm self-employed, you do have a, a repair shop, right? You have a repair shop, so most of the time, you have a different appliances, different trouble that you need uh, to troubleshoot in the appliances, right? So different kinds of appliances that you repair in your own shop, right? You need this one because uh, Different models sometimes uh, have difficulties uh, to troubleshoot. So you need some tools that uh, give you a fastest way to solve your problem, your troubleshooting. So you need a helping guide like ESR meter because most of the time in our appliances, uh, some uh, capacitors, uh, it's hard to say that this one is uh, spoiled or broken or uh, shorted or open. So we need this kind of uh, tools, this tester, this multimeter, uh, ESR meter, uh, analog or digital. You must have this one in your shop, in electronic shop, uh, so that you have uh, less time to troubleshoot, right? Easy to find, easy to troubleshoot. So I rather to say that uh, you must have this one. You must have this ESR meter so that you can troubleshoot uh, less in less time, right? So, that's all guys. Uh, all kinds of tools that, uh, all kinds of tools regarding electronics, if we can afford it, we must buy it. If it, uh, it can help in troubleshoot, in repairing, you must have one. Uh, or if you know already that you uh, earning income already, right? So you have a uh, spare money, why not? 
Uh, why not you buy one if you uh, if can help you to troubleshoot easily what kind of appliances you repair, right? So that's all. I hope that you understand that this ESR meter, uh, you always need this one when it comes to troubleshooting. At least you have analog, you have uh, ESR meter, you have uh, digital meter. This one for me, uh, I need these three kinds of tools, uh, especially analog, not always digital, because analog help me to identify the leakage, right? In digital, most of the time, no. Uh, most of the time, I use the digital in voltage checking because it's safe, right? It's auto range, like something like that. Reverse, no problem. So, digital, I use that one in uh, voltage checking. And uh, when, I when I need to analyze uh, some transistor leakage, capacitor leakage, this one, it can help also, right? So, this ESR meter, you must have so that uh, you have uh, less time to troubleshoot so that's all and one more else uh, I have a Facebook page uh, Real Empire so I post there uh, for my giveaway promo in a ESR meter ESR analog meter so I have a giveaway on uh, that page kindly visit that page my Facebook page uh, Real Empire so if you want uh, ESR meter, analog ESR meter, I have a giveaway promo there. So the details, rather I say that one in my next video, all the details uh, for the giveaway promo ESR meter, I will uh, update you in my second video. So thank you guys. So I hope uh, you understand what tools you need, why you need this ESR meter, right? Uh, thank you. Meanwhile, the next day. Because this ESR meter, uh, it help help you to identify capacitor uh, in circuit, right? Unlike a uh, digital multimeter, uh, you cannot test that one in circuit. Actually, sometimes you can check the microfarad, how many microfarad that, that capacitor have in circuit you want to test, but. Most of the time, this capacitor have parallel uh, mm, capacitor also. The SMD capacitor have a uh, parallel there. So sometimes it's hard to say that the original capacitance of the capacitor, you can test that one in the circuit. No. So if you have an e ESR meter, uh, digital or analog, it help you to identify the, the capacitor if it's uh, sh uh, shorted or uh, open or leakage or less capacitance it help you to identify that using the ESR meter that's why you really need this kind of tools in your troubleshooting when it comes to troubleshooting what kind of appliances you uh, troubleshoot